Um, so the idea with cochlear implants is identifying when hearing aids aren't enough. So you know when, if you ever feel like you're struggling with your hearing, or how many of you feel like you're asking what a lot, or you sort of just give up in the middle of a conversation and just kind of, you know, just don't want to keep bothering people by asking questions. Some people only have difficulty hearing out of one ear, and they're still an opportunity to benefit from cochlear implants, even with just hearing loss in one ear. So we want to just make sure everyone understands that there's another option available when hearing aids aren't enough, even with normal hearing in one ear. So today, I briefly want to talk to you a little bit about how we hear, um, some of the treatments for hearing loss, who's a candidate, and you know, Dr. Volker is gonna demystify the surgery for you, because I know that sometimes that's the scariest part. So how hearing works. Here's a little video first, here we go. I'm gonna narrate the video for you. <laughs> So there's three parts of the ear. Sound travels into the outer ear, and then it stimulates the middle ear structures. And those middle ear structures stimulate or set fluid in motion inside the cochlea. I think I'm ahead of the video. Here we go. So the sound waves get sent down to the eardrum, which sets the middle ear ossicles, the bones in the ear, the three smallest bones in your body in motion, and that stimulates fluid inside the cochlea. And when that fluid moves, it shears little cells inside your cochlea, and those cells stimulate the nerve, and that's what sends the signal to the brain, and that's how we identify speech and music and sound. And when those cells are damaged, when we have hearing loss or as we get older, that's when we start having some hearing problems, and that's when you try hearing aids, and when hearing aids aren't enough, we're here to tell you about cochlear implants. So what do hearing aids do? Why are they different than a cochlear implant? Hearing aids basically are just amplifiers. They make sound louder. So basically, we're taking sound, making it audible, but it might still sound unclear or distorted uh, because we're not changing the hearing system. We're just amplifying sound to get to the hearing system. So we're still delivering it to a cochlea that has problems. So these are just some other ways to identify when hearing aids are not enough. If you're struggling on the phone, if you're relying solely on lip reading, which has been really difficult for patients throughout the last several years with masks, um, if you're only hearing on one ear, if you're asking people to repeat themselves, if, if you just don't want to go out anymore because hearing in background noise is too bothersome, this is when hearing aids aren't doing the job that they should be doing for you. And that's when we should talk more about cochlear implants, and it's never a bad idea to get an assessment. It's not, it does not mean that you have to have a cochlear implant surgery. It's just good to identify your options. So a cochlear implant traditionally is for patients with very significant hearing loss in both ears, but now the technology and the research has identified that even patients with just hearing loss in the high pitches or hearing loss in only one ear can benefit from a cochlear implant because hearing aids just don't do enough for those individuals. So I always say it takes two ears to make a thing go right. <laughs> hearing with two ears is better because our brain is is used to processing sound from two ears. It's harder to process sound. It's more fatiguing to process sound with one ear. Um, so even if you only get one cochlear implant, it's always a good idea to do something with the other ear. So wear a hearing aid on the other side so that you benefit from bimodal hearing, which is where you have acoustic hearing from a hearing aid and a cochlear implant provides electrical hearing. And the hearing aid actually makes the implant sound a little bit more natural and provides other benefits to speech understanding and music perception. But uh, bilateral hearing is when you actually decide, you know what, I'm gonna go for it and get a second cochlear implant, which we know really does help with localizing sound because the timing cues are, are similar between both ears. And 
you know, as we get older, the risk of falls is actually increased by hearing only with one ear. So it's always good to try to be able to balance your body in space by hearing with two ears.